In this video, I'm looking at question 3 from the January 2012 F324 paper, which is about carbonyl compounds. So the first part of the question paints a scenario where there's an unlabeled bottle of a chemical and the technician thinks it could be pentam 2 ohm 3 ohm or pentanal. And we've got to come up with a series of chemical tests that could be used to confirm that the bottle is in fact a ketone. So the first thing you would need to do is you'd need to confirm the presence of the carbonyl group and that would be done by adding 2,4-DNP and if there's a carbonyl present then you would get a yellow-orange precipitate. So basically what that would be telling you is, yes, this is either an aldehyde or a ketone. We then need to narrow it down to a ketone. And so to rule out the aldehyde, you would add Tollens reagent and heat. And if it was a ketone, you would not see a silver mirror. And the second part of this question then says we've identified it as a ketone now, which one is it? Is it pentan 2 ohm or 3 ohm? And we've got to come up with a method that must not involve spectroscopy. So what they're after here is that you would purify this yellow-orange precipitate that you've just obtained from the 2,4-DNP. So you'd purify it by recrystallization. You would then take its melting point, not boiling point, which is a common mistake, and then you would compare the melting point of this derivative to known data values. And those known data values would then be able to tell you what the original ketone was. So in other words, is it either pentan 2 ohm or pentan 3 ohm? The second part of the question moves away from carbonyls and starts testing knowledge on alcohols and polymerization. So we're told about different synthetic routes um, for converting 3-hydroxypropanoic acid into different polymers. And the first one, synthesis 1, is basically if we polymerize molecule A, which is the 3-hydroxypropanoic acid, what are we going to get? And we have to draw one repeat unit for the polymer. Any question on polymerization, you need to be asking yourself two questions. Have I got any carbon-carbon double bonds? Because if I have, it's probably going to be an addition polymer. If not, it's going to be a condensation polymer. So we can't see any carbon-carbon double bonds. So this is going to be condensation polymerization. The very last part of this question, which you'll see in a moment, actually asks what type of polymerization is occurring. So we've kind of already answered that. So what happens in condensation polymerization? You take a small molecule and add together to form a longer molecule with the elimination of water. And so I'm going to get rid of the OH group and the H from the OH group on this on the left hand side. And you can see over here on the right in the box, this is what's going to be left at the left hand side. So we've got this end bond, which means that this can continue to the next molecule along. And of course, at the right hand side, we've got this bond spare now, which can join on again. So this would be the repeat unit. Synthesis 2 is a little bit more involved. The first part of the synthesis um, tells us that water is eliminated from molecule A. Now essentially we're looking at the alcohol group here. We can eliminate water from alcohols by taking the OH group and the H from an adjacent carbon. So you can see I've highlighted in yellow this one here. So I'm going to take the OH and the H. That's going to give us this water molecule and we're going to get a double bond forming here. So we end up with this molecule here. The next part of the synthesis says that the molecule in this box is going to be reduced. 
So ask yourself what part of this molecule can be reduced. It's obviously the carboxylic acid group and that will be reduced to this primary alcohol group here. And then of course you can check that you're right by looking, there's the CH2H group in the final polymer product, the PVA. And let's just ask what kind of polymerization is this? There's a carbon-carbon double bond. It's not there anymore, so this is an addition polymerization. Synthesis 3 tells you that starting with molecule A, we're going to reduce it and we're also going to oxidise it. And you can see here, I've sort of made a little note to myself, when you reduce this molecule, it's this part here that gets reduced, the carboxylic acid group, and that's going to turn into this CH2OH group. So this will be the product of the reduction of A. If we go down the right hand side now, if you oxidise A, we're going to turn the primary alcohol group into a carboxylic acid group. And so you can see I've now got a, a carboxylic acid group on the left where there was once this primary alcohol. And then finally you can see in this bracket here we're going to polymerise the two molecules we've just made. Can't see any carbon-carbon double bonds, so this is going to be condensation, polymerization. So we need to make a water molecule. So we'll start here. We'll take the OH from the carboxylic acid group of this molecule and marry that with the H from the hydroxyl group, from the alcohol. There's the water molecule. So we would join that together and have this ester group here. The same thing's going to happen at the left-hand side. So because we've taken the H here, we need to take this H here. So we have an O single bond, sort of going nowhere to show the continuation. And on here, we're going to take this OH group. And so we have the C double bond O. And then again, this bond, this end bond, showing the continuation on the right. And then, as I was saying before, the question finishes by asking what type of Polymerization is taking place in each three of the syntheses. So one is condensation, two was addition, and three, the one on the screen now, is condensation again.